Welcome everybody to another edition of the Hurry Up. I'm your host Adam. Let's get into it. So the Giants are filling out their coaching staff on the defensive side of the ball. I know that they, you know, filled it in with Mike Kafka on the offensive side, and, and we'll touch that. We'll touch base on that in a little bit. But Wink Martindale seems to be headed to New York. This is a great. Um, I think this is a good defensive coordinator, if not a great defensive coordinator. Slightly better. I would say better than Patrick Graham. Not slightly, but better than Patrick Graham. Hey, he had good players on the defense. What this allows the Giants to do is go in a m many different directions in the draft. Wink Martindale runs a cover. It is a 3-4 guy, cover zero, likes to blitz. Last year they blitzed about, uh, the Ravens blitzed about 38% of the time, which is a lot. Um, and so the Giants personnel now will have an identity on defense. They will have an identity for the first time since Spagnuolo left. No, no, taking no disrespect away from Patrick Graham, but when you have an amoeba defense and you're kind of just putting players together and just as a hodgepodge of players, you never can get a pipeline of what you want, right? With the Ravens, if you watch them during the Wink Martindale years, they, they had an identity, they brought in the players that they wanted, you know, they traded for... Uh, guys like Minka Fitzpatrick and things like that. So and they have Patrick Queen, you know what I mean? They had Matt Judon when he was there. He kind of blew up in that in that system as well. So you're gonna see different types of, of players like that coming through the Giants draft. Now if you look at the Giants roster right now, currently we don't have those kind of uh players on that team. I mean we have Aziz Ojolari, who I think is gonna be great. I mean he was he was big last year, but now you're gonna put him a year in the program Plus, you know, having the coaches that might be coming on, Brian Cox and Rob Ryan, will definitely help him. Brian Cox was on that um, Atlanta team that helped, uh, that went to the Super Bowl, but also he helped guys like Grady Jarrett and Vic Beasley have some of the best seasons with the Atlanta Falcons um, when he was there. So I'm pretty excited about him coming in and helping out the linebackers in the defensive line, um, him and Rob Ryan working together. Uh, but but the, what, what that means is we're bringing the pain. That's what that means. We're bringing the pain because that's what you're going to do. When you blitz, you're hitting hard. Look at them Ravens. You, you go watch those Ravens defenses. They hit you hard. They're going to they're going to be they're going to fight all the game all game long. There's going to be different exotic blitzes. One of the things that wasn't annoying, but what you saw with Patrick Graham was he didn't blitz all the time, and when he did, it didn't always get home. This guy. Wink is going to get these guys home, whether it's corner blitzes, slot blitzes, um, you know, linebacker blitzes, exotic fronts. You know, they're going to be happening with this defense, and they're going to build from the ground up. The other thing that's that's great is that Joe Shane is a guy who likes to talk to the coaches and likes to get their feedback on what players they want. So when he comes in, whenever that is, and they have their staff meeting uh, with the scouts and players and then the coaches and things like that, uh, and with Brandon Brown, they'll be able to identify players in free agency and in the draft to bring in here that fit the system. This is going to be one of those things uh, that is good for the Giants. And the thing also that I like is Wink Martindale is about 58, which means he's getting older. So hopefully he doesn't, you know, a lot of teams are progressive these days. They want younger guys. So if the longer he stays with the Giants, I think he'll be able to be here for a while, depending on if the Giants go from zero to first, you know, and, and then blow up and the defense blows up, that he could leave. But I don't think that's going to happen. Um, his staff is pretty good. And, and it just gets me excited because, in the you know, let's see what happens in free agency. There's going to be a lot of guys purged from different rosters. Start to look at the Ravens roster, see who might be a free agent there, whether they're a special teams player or not. Wink is going to try to bring guys over to kind of get the terminology right. It's how it's what everyone's doing in the NFL. You're bringing players you're familiar with over as teacher assistants almost, or or, or tutors, as you could say. Like uh, like for example, the OC is coming over um, for and we'll, we'll end on we'll, we'll get back to Wink Martindale in one second. But Kafka's coming over from from. Kansas City. They're also bringing O'Shea over from, from the Bills. These guys are going to come over and have a collaborative effort to try to build different concepts and different things going forward. Same thing with the defense. Now, this is, affects the draft because, like I said, Joe Shane and Brandon Brown are going to talk to these coaches and see what they want. In the draft now, I think they're still going to go 
uh, linemen unless there's an absolute trade that they can't refuse. Now, if there's a trade they can't refuse, then let's say uh, I'm hearing rumors that Kenny Pickett could possibly go as high as six, if not five, which means, you know, if I'm the Giants, I pretend that I want Kenny Pickett. And then whoever decides they want uh, Kenny Pickett can come down and either jump us or we trade up with the Ram, uh, with the, with, with the Panthers one spot because, you know, we can say, hey, listen, we're going to trade you this spot, but, you know, Pittsburgh and, you know, New Orleans are on the phone. What, what can you offer us? Because you're going to lose your guy if this is the guy you want. Now, they may say, you know what, Giants, tr do your trade and, and, and take Malik Willis, but this is going to change the whole draft, right? Hey, it, it, let's say the Giants stay chalk, and chalk means they stay they stay pat, they don't trade. We'll, 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 for this exercise, We'll keep it like that. So at five, you get Neal or Eichem or Cross, whatever whatever tackle you deem or guard or whatever tackle you, lineman you deem the best there, you take. Unless, of course, uh, KT, Thibodeau, is there. At that point, all bets are off. You're, you're taking him. I don't care. I don't want to hear about it. Nothing. Then maybe at seven, you take Linderbaum. But if you do if you do take your lineman at seven, then I think there's, there's many guys in play. Devin Lloyd could be in play. Uh, Jermaine Johnson could be in play. A uh, Jobo could be in play. These are guys. Um, even Nicobe Dean could be in play. These are guys who fit that Ravens defense, sideline to sideline backers that can and, and edge rushers that can that are also athletic to drop back into coverage, play their cover three, and don't be alarmed if they take a corner. Now I'm not saying they will or Kyle Hamilton. There's many options that they can do. Depends on how they do what they do in free agency, right? And what they do during free agency, meaning cutting, cutting players, like Bradbury rumored to be traded or cut, you know, so you're gonna need to replace him. Um, I know that we have Aaron Robinson on the team, but still you're going to need to fill out that roster because last year we had injuries there. So you're going to need um, a plethora of guys. I mean, I know the Giants have uh, Jerron Williams, who's an exclusive rights for agent, which means the Giants still have their rights. It would be compensated if he left. You know, they have Rodarius Williams, who's, who's still there. They have Darnay Holmes. They have um, uh, Aaron, Aaron Williams. Uh, there's so many dang Williams on this team. Um, Aaron Robinson, excuse me, um, and Dory Jackson. Those are five corners on there that are pretty good. If you count James Bradbury at six, and then you bring in a draft pick at seven, now one of those guys are going to go. So this is this is the chance to start to build the foundation. You're going to weed guys in and out. This is good for the Giants. The other thing is, is that we don't know if Blake Martinez is going to come back. There's guys like Jalen Smith who are a cheaper option that might be a, might be a better fit for this defense. Right, a better fit for the defense. I mean, Blake Martinez is good, but he was good for Patrick Graham's defense. Will he be able to fit into Wink Martindale what he's trying to do? We'll find out. And he could be a cap casualty, so he may not be there, especially being injured right now, right, coming off a knee injury. I would like to see Blake Martinez back. I would like to see Blake Martinez and Jalen Smith back. But if you decide to go one or the other, you know, there's a chance that you can go get those guys um Later on in the draft, so, and uh, so this is this is exciting news. Um, hopefully, we'll see more down the pipeline. I think this time, this for me, for the first time in a long time, is a exciting coaching staff. I know I said that last year about judges coaching staff, but if you look at it, there's not really college guys on here. All NFL experience, you know, no, you know, retread off offensive coordinator forced on somebody. No, no, you know, forced defensive coordinator on somebody. No buddy buddy. Stuff. It's just a guy like Wink Martindale who happened to be let go, who, you know, has coached in the league a long time, had some great defenses uh, with the Ravens. Now, that's not going to, let's let's be real, let's be honest, that may not happen right away with the Giants. Remember, the Giants have 18 free agents, 18, plus guys are going to cut. So let's add that four guys up. That's about 22 guys leaving the team. You've got to replace those guys. And Joe Shane said that he likes more bats at the apple. So there might be some trades along the way in this free agency to acquire more players, uh, acquire more draft picks to get more players to possibly move up in the draft or move back in the draft to get to, to fill out this roster. Because the, the Shane believes in building through the draft and filling in with free agencies as the year goes on. So look for that. But, hey, this is going to be a good update. Giants, we're going to have a fur, uh, an exotic defense, hopefully a, a painful one. People won't want to come play Big Blue anymore. So start to get excited about this team. Remember, temper your expectations because we don't know what's going to happen when we get there. We all want to shoot to the stars, which is not a bad thing to do. But we also have to understand that things happen. 
other teams get better. Other teams are going to acquire players. Uh, injuries will happen. So let's hope for the best and, and see what Brian Dable can do. Like I said, it's going to take a few few weeks on both sides of the ball. Remember, now the defense has a new coach. So now you got to get all those parts playing together. And, you know, in April and May and June is when they're going to install all the defense. But come July, that's when you're going to start to see it play out. And then the first weeks of the season against actual live opponents, not vanilla offenses in preseason, you're going to see how this, how this defense and offense really go. So I'm excited. Um, stay tuned with the hurry up. we got a lot more coming this offseason um, with premium takes um, and other updates as we go through the offseason. And, and we're going to do, uh, hopefully, stay tuned for premium takes on Sunday. Hopefully, we'll have a recap of all the all-star festivities that should be going on um, soon, if not uh, for basketball, or definitely a preview of the Super Bowl and what fun things might have happened during the week. Obviously, the pep rallies and things like that. It's going to be fun. Just stay tuned. We'll get locked in. Sit in your chair because this offseason for the Giants is going to be a good one. See ya.